TJ Holmes and Amy Robach co-host GMA3, What You Need to Know. And now the network is figuring out how to handle this whole ordeal that's really blown, really blown up in the tabloids. And joining us now is Ms. Basketball, Christina Granville, with more details on this. Christina, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. So I guess kind of fill us in on what the latest is, you know, in terms of the situation. And this is really just blown up. It is. It's taken social media by storm. The Daily Mail released last uh, Wednesday of their romance of them, you know, different pictures of them holding hands in a car, them doing, uh, you know, hanging out upstate New York, spending a lot of personal time together. And of course, social media has taken and run with it. And now the president of ABC, um, Kimberly Goodwin, she is now making uh, making decisions on what she should do with the two. They appeared on Thursday, just as fine. On Friday, they, you know, appeared on the show just as fine. And then Monday, uh, there were new hosts. <laughs> um, and now they're trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Right. And so speaking of that, the company, as you mentioned, President Kim Goodwin, she says that no rules were technically violated. They're working, as you said, to figure it out. Do you have any indication or any thoughts on what you think, you know, could happen next? I mean, from a company standpoint, it's got to be a tricky situation. It's got to be very tricky. You know, you have two amazing hosts who have amazing chemistry and now we kind of see why. Um, but as she said, they didn't break any company policies. Um, they've been doing a great job on GMA3. Uh, moving forward, I'm not sure how they're going to move with that because they're both separated. I think a lot of people uh, are forgetting that they are separated. They uh, are divorcing from their spouses. Uh, and they've been doing this romance since, you know, somewhere around August. So who really knows? But right now, Stephanie Ramos and uh, Gio Benitez, is going to be filling in for them until they can get the matter situated. Sure. Yeah, we'll be watching, wait and see. But and so you mentioned that they're out of town with them. They were running Boston marathons together. They were training. Mm -hmm. They were doing so much together. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, at a point, sometimes that water, I mean, the line is very thin when that chemistry is so strong. You just don't know. You know, maybe they could have been dating before. Who knows? No one really knows. They haven't came out publicly and even said that they're dating. Uh, we can just only tell and speculate by that chemistry. So mm -hmm. we're all just trying to figure out and see what's going to happen next. Yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be anxious to see what happens. Christina, great chatting with you as always. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. And you can keep up with Christina on Instagram at MsBasketball-1.